hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so i asked my tiktok to dm me on instagram questions for a q a i'm using the trap phone for this so thank you to my iphone 5 you guys actually did not disappoint with these questions some of them are like kind of deep like they're like good open-ended questions let's get into it the first one says starting off strong what do people at your school think of your videos and how do you deal with it why did you start making videos okay so i'm gonna start with why i started so when i was like nine years old i i've had this exact youtube channel for a long long time but all my old videos are deleted but when i was like nine years old i was making like makeup reviews and makeup tutorials with like glitter and stuff like that and I've always been into makeup. I used to do special effects makeup, like really gory, scary things. I guess for the past nine years of my life, I've been making makeup videos. I've always wanted to be a successful influencer, makeup beauty guru, like like I said, since I was like nine. So to have my TikTok like blow up the way that it has is literally a dream come true. Like it's quite literally my passion. I never thought I would be making like the like talking get ready with me's that I do make until I did start doing them but I wouldn't want it any other way because I love to talk what do people of your school think of your videos and how you deal with it okay so when I very first started my get ready with me account I had the people that hate on you for everything obviously were the people that hated on me for like everything that I did they were like making fun of me a little bit and saying like oh i don't deserve my platform whatever like the people that i knew would make fun of me i blocked them and then they still were watching my things off of like spam accounts and stuff so i mean at the end of the day you honestly have to think of it from a higher light like they're giving you views <laughs> like they're talking about it like they're giving you followers and views so honestly they're contributing to it and my thing is that like a hater is a hater they're gonna hate on you whether you're famous or not whether you're you post on social media or not whether you're rich or poor it literally doesn't matter haters a hater and they're always gonna find something to hate on you for so that's how i think of it that's how i was that in the question how do i deal with it yeah how do you deal with it um I'm happy with myself. I'm content with myself. I'm content with my videos. Um, people, I don't really hear people making fun of it anymore. Ever since I hit like around 50k, it's quiet. Ain't no back talk. Like you really can't say anything bad because I'm in a super good spot. And if you're afraid to post because you're afraid of what people may think, you'll never be able to get the opportunity to be in that good spot. So you should do it. Next question. What embarrasses you the most? Um... I don't know. I've literally never thought about that. I genuinely cannot think of something. Like, I don't really, I don't really get that embarrassed. I'm, like, super open on the internet. Mm. I guess what embarrasses me is, like, my, like, middle school me. Like, thinking about the way that I was in, like, middle school and, like, how much I've grown as a person. Just how I acted, I guess. How I dealt with situations when i was a little bit younger looking back now that i'm older and mature that's like embarrassing for me this is a fat one okay what's my favorite thing about myself what's my dream place to live have i ever been in love what's my favorite high school memory and my favorite flower okay who or whoever wrote this wait i'm let me dm them back her name is reagan reagan i love you okay my favorite thing about myself i'll do a physical and a emotional Physical, I think my favorite thing about myself is my eyes. I feel like I have really good eyes. Really, like, pretty eyes. Um, my favorite thing that's not physical is probably, like, probably my ability to bounce back from, like, everything. Nothing has ever, like, truly, truly defeated me. So I think that's my thing. That's my favorite thing. My dream place to live. I need to live. I need to settle down um near water not like a river i want to live on a coast like west east i'm from the east coast so i'd like to live there but also i love warm weather so maybe like gulf coast area maybe i don't know i just 
my dream place to live is just anywhere where I have like a beach house like, or anywhere tropical. Put me anywhere tropical. I'll be happy. Aruba, Hawaii. I don't I love that. Okay. The next question says, have you ever been in love? If this is too personal, I get it. Um, okay. I have been like actually in love with someone once in my life. I was young. I was pretty young. My the way that I think of it now is that I was like too young. Oh my gosh. I was too young to be experiencing such big and mature emotions. It was my first love. So I'll talk about it forever. You know what I mean? Like I'll always like be thinking about that. But it was a while. It was like almost two years ago it ended. And it still just like resonates in me. Like not, not necessarily like the person. But just like the fact that I was able to love like that and experience something like that honestly makes me like really hopeful for my future when I find true love because there's a difference between your first love and true love you know what I mean so now I think of it in a very positive light I'm like okay if I can love the wrong person that much then imagine how much I can love the the right person but it took me a long time to view it that way I was very bitter for a long time I have never ever 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 felt hurt the way that I was hurt after that breakup like I was like in therapy and put on like medication I, the, those were both long overdue like I've been in therapy on and off since I was like um 11 years old but like that I was put back in therapy after that because it was just such a loss for me like grieving grieving losing my first love was like worse than I don't know if this is controversial to say but honestly it was worse than any other grieving I've had with like someone passing away like it was just so personal to me so that's my that's like my experience with being in love <sighs> once once and I've been protecting my heart since and waiting for the right person my favorite flower a lily of course i also really like tulips i think tulips are really pretty and although roses are like kind of cliche i do think the roses are really pretty oh this one kind of goes along with the other question that we talked about before do you ever get hate for your tiktoks at school or in public um no one has ever hated on me to my face they know not to and if they do i have one thing hold on hold on No one has said anything to my face, like, period, about my account, but I have heard, like, she said this and this, and she was making fun of you, and nah, nah, nah. But it got to a certain point once I, once I, like, reached a certain amount of, um, following that I was started to, the narrative, like, completely flipped. It was, like, my ex-best friend that, like, we had, like, a rough falling out, and, like, she talked so much, so much bad stuff. The narrative completely flipped and she was talking about how successful I was and how she used to be my friend. And also, I feel like I hold myself very high up and I have like a certain amount of confidence that it's like, you can tell me whatever, but like, you can't stop me. Oh, okay, I love this one. How did you decide you wanted to be a teacher and do you have a plan B if you give up on the career? Also, how do you deal with anxiety? How did I decide I wanted to be a teacher? Well, my, like for years, I was saying like, Oh, I would love to be a teacher. I would so go into teaching if they got paid more. To me, I thought that I like quite literally could not get by with a teaching salary. So I just didn't even think about like pursuing it. And then um, once I got a little bit older, I started when my concept of money grew, I realized I was like, okay, I could live off of this. Like I could do this. So I started considering it. Then I started coaching. I was like, oh my god, this makes my heart happy. Like, this truly makes me happy. These bonds, these connections mean so much to me. This is what I should do with my life. This feels like my calling. And so I started really looking into teaching. And I just started realizing, like, all the, all the aspects of it, I feel like, are really compatible with me. Like, I can be creative of my classroom, of, like, the way that I teach and the way that I express myself. I'm also helping these little kids and being a safe place for them and, like, educating young minds is, like, one of the most important things ever and I want to be a part of that. And then I did cadet teaching, with, which was literally the best experience of my life and it solidified, yes, I need to be a teacher. I feel like teaching um, has to be a passion and not just a job. 
um plan b this is my plan b social media i hope to continue to grow and one day be able to like live off of a social media salary and also be a teacher as well and do both and incorporate that like school vlogs and stuff um how do i deal with anxiety <sighs> this is like a huge thing for me because i have had i got like told that i had an anxiety like disorder like an anxiety problem when i was like five or six years old like i was extremely young and my in my childhood i moved a lot of times so i was like always shaken up super anxious like really had a hard time um keeping long-term friends because i was moving away from them and like the constant change for someone so little just made me super anxious um and then the anxiety carried on into my teen years and it manifested itself into like deep depression even like suicidal thoughts and stuff and things did help like journaling meditating spending time in nature like the cliche things they truly did help but it was like a band-aid fix like when you're so anxious that you're so depressed like you don't have the motivation to pick up a journal and write in it like you don't and so there was lots of things like essential oils helped me um a lot of blankets on my bed helped me meditation um helped me but honestly medication like if you have anxiety so bad to the point where it's like crippling and altering your day-to-day -day life then that's the point where you might like consider medication i know like not all people believe in that but for me um the last medication i took some like it literally altered my brain somehow i'm on nothing right now and i i have a lot less anxiety than i have had ever in my life i just i just think that the medicine like really fixed me i don't know if that's good advice or if that's what you wanted to hear but also like therapy um also a good support system just genuinely clearing your life of all things that make you anxious and you love my videos thank you so much how do you deal with friendship losses the only friendship i've had like three big friendship losses or really only two and they were both like super messy situations that like i did not handle them in a way that i, I am like proud of to this day like i it was just so messy and I was feeding into it and I shouldn't have done that. If we're talking mentally, like how do you get over it? Honestly, like find new friends. There's always other people out there for you. Um, but also I feel like you just need to have a lot of respect for yourself if you want to attract people into your life who have respect for you and you need to be in a healthy place if you want to attract people who are healthy for you. So if you lose some like someone due to like their toxic manners or like both of your toxic manners, the truth is like if you attracted that, then that probably means that there's something that needs to be like rearranged within you. So I think just like just like a breakup, like soul searching a little bit afterwards and kind of just like finding yourself and loving yourself and then you'll feel like you don't need that friend anymore you won't feel dependent on it anymore and you'll be okay with being alone and it's whenever you become okay with being alone that something new and amazing comes along do you have any pets yes i have two dogs two cats and a guinea pig my cats are my favorite but don't don't tell them my favorite movie my favorite movie for my whole entire life um is Coraline it's been my favorite movie since I was five years old I can recite the movie front to back I'm not even kidding I know every single word to the movie like it's a, like a song but I also really love the um Conjuring movies and I really love The Notebook and I like a lot of Jordan Peele movies how are you so confident you have such a great energy how do you do it um I feel like it took being extremely insecure for a really long time and just having that like breakthrough I just genuinely do feel like fulfilled with myself i think it's because like after my first love situation i was young i was like 16 and after that i did like a, so much soul searching i never truly loved myself prior to that relationship i never knew what it was like to like be my own best friend and then afterwards i tr like seriously just spent so much time with myself and learned how to love myself 
like the same way that you need to learn someone else's love language when you're in a relationship you need to learn your own love language so I think just like nurturing myself um going to the gym has definitely given me like a lot of confidence not even like physically but just like mentally like after I hit like a new PR or I like run longer than I thought I would or I could do more reps than I thought I would the mental like how it makes you feel mentally after achieving something like that is like amazing it just makes you genuinely feel super confident in yourself so like the gym um trying to stay like healthy just like putting things into my body and into my soul that make me feel good whether that's like yoga words of affirmation kombucha like stuff like that just surrounding myself also surrounding myself with who i want to be makes me become who i want to be like i've always wanted to be a beauty influencer i worked at that and i worked at that and now i feel super successful and proud of myself and also cutting yourself some slack like just being like it's okay i'm human i'm here i'm experiencing things i don't have to react perfectly i don't have to deal with it perfectly treat yourself gently and with love and then you'll feel loved and then you feel confident and all of that also makes you a more happy person as well. What country do you want to visit? I really want to visit like European countries. I've never been to Europe. I've been to like tropical places, but I've never been to a European country. So I really want to go. I really want to go to Greece or Italy. Okay, this one says, what are some things that you do to stay positive and happy? So that was like kind of everything that I said, like keeping my body moving, like reminding myself, like it's okay, I'm human, like it's normal. And I also, like, make jokes of everything. Like, I don't really take anything that seriously. And just kind of, like, being fun with everything. Like, I'll, like, sing sentences all the time. And, like, I'm, like, the loudest one of my friends. Like, just, like, don't take things so seriously. And I know that sounds so hard. And I wasn't always, like, a person that took nothing seriously. But, like, genuinely just, like, feel the flow of, like, life. And you will just, you'll flow with it and you'll be so much happier. And I also loved what you said about not wanting to be around people who constantly bring your energy down. Yes, that's another thing. Surround yourself with good and you'll feel good. How did you keep your skin hydrated during Accutane? Literally Aquaphor constantly. Aquaphor on my lips, Aquaphor on my face, Aquaphor on my hands, elbows. Like I would lotion my my whole body every single night. Sunscreen. Sun, there's nothing more hydrating than sunscreen. Sunscreen on your face every single day. Um... But yeah, just constantly apply all for. Those were all the Q&A questions. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and got to know me a little bit better, feel a little bit more connected. Thank you guys so much for asking these questions and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye guys!